Hey, welcome back to the vlog. I'm in my living room, and this one is about Nikki's, uh, my oldest daughter, of course, uh, talent show. It's not a talent show, it was like a comedy show. It's a comedy show that they've been putting for the last four years. It's a fundraiser for a very nice cause, and kids, seniors usually, try their uh, best at uh, stand-up comedy. So she was really good, actually. She made fun of me, my, my wife, myself, the family. Actually, she made fun of me, my, my wife, myself, the family, but she's hysterically funny. I found her very funny, kids enjoyed her. And while her sh on her show, some of you viewers, especially the seniors, uh, we're like Kissel vlog and I know that none of you are subscribed so go ahead please subscribe to this channel it encourages me to make more silly videos so go ahead enjoy subscribe like and share Nikki Kissel <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm a pretty weird person, like a really weird person, and I attribute most of this weirdness to my parents. Woo! My, my Ima and Abba, they're right there in the audience. That's wonderful. Now I know what you're thinking. Is she really gonna spend her entire five minutes long complaining about her parents? And lucky for you, I'm only gonna be spending about four minutes complaining about my parents, and less so complaining, more so just trying to understand the strange cacophony of things that happen in my household on a daily basis that I just somehow have to overlook as being completely sane. <laughs> Yvonne and Samuel Kissel run a tight ship inhabited by circus clowns and toddlers. <laughs> for, startler, for starters, my father is a very interesting man in the fact that uh, absolutely nothing about him makes any sort of sense whatsoever. <laughs> Among flying actual airplanes as an occupation, one of his favorite pastimes includes vlogging. <laughs> You know, video evidence of having your head stuck so far up your own ass. But, I'm just kidding. But no, um, for anyone who doesn't know, vlogging is pretty much just like videotaping yourself going about your daily activities, right? And when I say my dad gets into his work, oh, oh, he gets into his work. He's always got his camera ready, you know, just ready to strike and catch the right moment, you know? Family vacations, vlogging, sporting events. He's vlogging, the time at the DMV, he was asked not to film, and then was forcefully escorted out. He was vlogging. <laughs> yes, and um, you know, he's always surprising us with this too. We'll be in somewhere like Ikea, right? And from between the big potted plant section and the mattress section, my whole family will just hear, WHAT?! <laughs> from Kissel Vlog. <laughs> Yeah, every now and then we'll just be going about our normal thing and then he'll look at his camera and then suddenly you're like a gazelle uh, being chased by National Geographic. <laughs> my mom's a little bit more camera shy than my dad is and I don't blame her. Uh, it's because she's got this fairly heavy accent, you know, and I don't blame her because really accents are really, really rough. They're, they're, they're pretty tough. I mean, Hebrew in general is... It's, it's pretty rough, right? It's like the 12 ancient Jewish tribes of Israel got together one day for some some big night, some hummus and some falafel, and then one of them goes, all right, guys, we need to come up with a language. So unique, so our own. Anyone have any ideas? And then one of the guys from the other side of the table picks up Peter and goes, I know. What if... <laughs> I was out to the mall with my mom this one time, and she was helping me. She was a little way across, and I turned to her after she had helped me, and I go, Ima, ata olam sheli, chavera achi tova sheli, kani oet otach. This white-haired lady from across the way just looks at me and just goes, <laughs> You know what old people do? <laughs> Excuse me? Who are you to be talking to your mother like that? <laughs> it's just telling my mom 
I loved her, so. <laughs> and aside from the fact that my mom's got this really heavy accent, she's probably the most technologically unadvanced person I've ever met in my time. <laughs> I swear, you could put my mother and a couple of babies in front of a computer and the babies would be able to recode the entire system before my mother would even be able to type in her login. <laughs> so when cell phones became a thing, forget it. I swear to God, for years, cell phone calls, cell phone calls with my mom used to go a little something like this. Hi, hi, Ima. What, what's? Hello! Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, yes, Ima. I, I can hear you. What? Can you hear me? I don't think I've ever heard Ima. I, I, I can hear you just fine. What's up? What's wrong? I can't hear you. technologically adept and one of them can barely turn off the microwave when it beeps, they get into disagreements about technology quite often, right? So to my mom's chagrin, my dad loves to buy like the newest gadgets, the newest gizmos, the newest updates, the newest updates of like everything, right? So he recently purchased a Google Home. <laughs> my mom is this thing. <laughs> what, do you want the government to hear what we're talking about in the house? <laughs> Right? It is the complete opposite of that in my household because my dog's name is also Google. <laughs> and you cannot, cannot use the Google Home without my dog having some sort of say in it, right? Hey Google, how's the weather? It's great! It's beautiful! It's sunshine! The grass is green! And I rub my butt all over your good carpet and there's nothing you can do about it! Ha ha ha! Thank you very much. Subscribe, like, and share.